What's up, everybody? Sober day number 397. I'm three days away from 400 days sober. And uh, I was thinking of an interesting topic today. Um, you know, it came up. I overheard other people talking about it recently. And then it came up in my YouTube, you know, results. Um, you know, because I watch a lot of uh, uh, sobriety videos and stuff like that. And it was talking about how relapse is a part of recovery. And I'm early to recovery. Listen, <clears throat> I'm just pushing 400 days this week. Can't wait. Three days away from it. But I had, well, early in my recovery, I remember going, when I was going to my AA meetings and I was in my, my uh, outpatient treatment, um, I remember we had a, uh, uh, I think they call him KSAC, KSAC worker that said, why why does relapse have to be a part of recovery? Like, you don't have to relapse. Relapse is a state of mind. You know, you relapse before you've even had your first drink. So why does relapse, why do you have to relapse while you're in recovery? Why, why, do pe why do so many people think that it has to be a part of your recovery? Does relapse happen during recovery? Of course it does. But does it have to? No, it doesn't. Did I relapse? Of course. I, w I tried to go sober a few times. This time when I was serious about it, I did relapse at day 30. And uh, I wish I didn't. And, you know, I guess if you want to be technical, yes, relapse can be a part of recovery. But it doesn't have to be. For anybody out there who's looking at getting sober, you know, you don't have to, you know, have that out. Because I, I almost think it's an easy out, like a crutch. Like, hey, well, relapse is a part of recovery. I screwed up yesterday, but that's okay. Today's day one again. You know, one day at a time. And I believe in all that and all, but, you know, I just, as each day goes by, I just, I don't feel like relapse has to be a part of recovery. You know, if you start dealing with your issues, because, you know, relapse is a state of mind. It's, it's, you're relapsing before you take your first drink, right? So if you understand that, you know, you don't actually have to do the actual act of the official relapse where you, where you're, where you're starting your day count over. So, if you deal with situations as they come up, you don't put them off. You know, I don't think necessarily relapse has to be a part of recovery. And when I say relapse, I mean the actual part of where you 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 break sobriety and you have that drink or you use or whatever your drug of choice is. You know, I just I feel like a lot of people and including myself, I'll keep it on myself, but a lot of people use that as kind of like the excuse or 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 the crutch during recovery and it just I don't think I don't think we have to. Like why can't we just take that whole part out of all the books that you read and out of the AA meetings and out of all the uh recovery centers? Why can we just stop talking about like you don't have to relapse. You don't. It is your choice. I choose every day not to go have a drink because I know the outcome. A, I'll probably end up uh, in the hospital with my pancreas, right? Or also B, I'll have legal repercussions. Don't need no more of those. So, you know, it's a choice. It really is a choice. I think choices are a part of recovery. I think your choices are a part of your recovery. But relapse doesn't have to be. And I think if we can just kind of change that mindset and change that thinking, I think it'd be a little easier for people to know that, hey, listen, every day I could just choose not to drink or, or choose not to use and and keep it simpler like that instead of just having this crutch. And again, this is just my two cents. You know, I'm not no trained professional. I'm not. Uh, uh, as you guys know, I'm a DJ. You know, 397 days ago, I was a drunk mess. 30 days before that, I was drinking every day. So I'll keep this video short today, but I just want to put my two cents out there. I haven't made a video for a while. Um, and this was almost kind of, this topic was almost kind of calling me, it seems like, because like I said, I had heard some people talking about it recently. Then my YouTube feed kind of brought it up. And I was like, you know what? Let me just add my two cents on it. I'm actually not even set up in my normal YouTube setup. This is actually my Twitch setup. And I was like, I'm just going to hit record and just, and, and just, you know, put this out there. You know, will I ever relapse? I hope not. Could it happen? Of course. Does it have to be a part of my recovery? No, I think it's more my choice. You know, at the end of the day, if I drink again, I made the choice to do it. I'm not going to blame my addiction for that. Uh, I'm not going to blame my circumstances for that. I'm going to blame myself for that because I made the choice to drink. 
doesn't matter how shitty my day's going. There's tons of people out there that have crappy days or shitty days or shitty lives and they don't drink. And it's funny because over these 397 days, I have found more and more people that don't drink. Because obviously, you know, uh, my buddy just told me a joke the other day, you know. Uh, it, it was one of them dumb jokes. It sounded like, uh, what's the, how, how do you know, how do you know uh, someone's a priest uh, or uh, a recovering addict or something else? I forget what it was, but it's like, oh, they tell you within the first few minutes. And I'm like, oh, crap, I do that all the time. I tell people, like, first few minutes of meeting people, I'm like, yep, I'm sober now because I wear, like, a badge of honor. I'm proud of myself. And anybody who else, uh, anybody else out there who's sober right now, you should be proud of yourself as well if, if you, you beat addiction or if you're beating addiction, you know. Um, but. You know, I, I just know that if if I drink again, it's because I made a choice to drink. If I use again, it's because I, I made the choice to use. There's tons of people, like I was I was saying before, I got kind of sidetracked, that go through horrible lives, horrible days, and, and I've been meeting all these different types of people that, that say, yeah, I haven't had a drink for years. And they weren't even people that were necessarily addicts. They just stopped drinking, and they go through everyday life. They have people die in their family. They deal with with the typical things that we all deal with, debt. Uh, we all went through the pandemic together, right? And we're still going through the pandemic together. People lost uh, jobs. People lost income. People lost so much stuff. And those people didn't drink. People with years of recovery didn't drink. So I don't know. That's just my two cents. I know it's kind of more of a rant today. I'm kind of rambling, but I want to put something out. I haven't put something out for a little bit. I'm going to be making a video for my 400th day here in three days. Um, and in that video, I'm going to be sharing... A uh, a drunk clip of me. I think I may have shared a snippet before, but I might play the whole thing in its entirety. Kind of remind myself because, as you guys know, a lot of this is is for myself. You know, documented my life and documented my life sober, and I still haven't got to do a lot of things I want to do because, again, we're still kind of <clears throat> you know in this pandemic. So, you know, traveling isn't as easy. Got to get a vaccination card and all that. Do all that stuff now. But, um, yeah, that's all I got for you guys. You know. Just remember, it's your choice, your choice to use. If you want to use, go use. You don't want to use, if you want to stay sober, stay sober. But relapse does not have to be part of your recovery. I don't care what anybody says. It just doesn't. That's all I got for you guys. Guys, I love you all. Thank you so much. If you have yet, please subscribe to the channel. Like this video. Leave a comment below. You know, YouTube is all about the, uh, YouTube's algorithm is all about the comments this year. So leave me a comment below, anything. If it's just like, hello, how you doing? <laughs> All right, guys, thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video, which should be coming in about three days.